listeners should be familiar with the FMSS communication site. Is anyone on our call not familiar with this? Please go up there and favorite this page if you've, if you've never done it before. And if you need the link, raise your hand. Because I can put it into the chat. No problem. We're not going to fill up our chat with unnecessary links if it's not necessary, though. Bob, is there somebody with a hand up? We have a chat from Phil Miller asking if, how do they tell if they got credit for taking the class already? Do they have to go through employee development team or someone specific or their staff assistant? Yeah, they can sign into their own IDP, their own individual development plan to see what, what classes, you know, like you do annual training and after you take the course, you see that you've gotten credit for it. It's the same system, ITM. Okay, Matthew, this question is, go ahead. Yeah, I, I got two, two of the same questions for that, right? If I took the class, I don't know if I get credit. We just want to make sure, I mean, I, I really, <laughs> I'll be honest. I just we'll want you there, guys Bob, to understand that. that right. Editorial. Hey, Bob, 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 let's don't go there on that editorial, okay? <laughs> all we have to suffice this with is the requirement is to take all three days of this training. If you're unable to get them, attend the last uh, end of the month and make up what you missed. And then we will know because your, your name, your amount of time on the screen, your amount of time being here is recorded. And that's how you get the attendance. It's, it's employee development team captures the attendance record, and then they give you credit into your own IDP, your own individual development plan. And so that's that's all we want to say about that. And so what access is needed so it can be requested and checked? Not sure which question is, Matthew. Could you come off mute then and let us know what your question, clarify a little bit more? Matthew Hager? I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Sorry about that. It's taken me a second to get off mute. Uh, what request do we need to put in bearers if we don't already have it? Microsoft Project. Do you have that? Okay. I don't know. I'd have to look. I don't think I've requested it, so I have to look. Yeah, this is about action plans, right? The second day and then all of the third day, you know, we kind of go into that. Um, so, yeah, you're going to want to have that bearish request input and let your manager know, please approve this, and then they'll load it to your to your computer. Um, you know, if you look at your, like, can you see my screen? Okay, Jonathan, thank you, I was really, okay, Matthew. All right, so when you go down to your search bar, you know, you'll be able to see what programs that you have by going to your search bar. And if you already have Microsoft Project, you know, it says it's green and it says Project on it. If you don't have it, it's not going to be there in your apps. Another place to check is up here, but I want to give everyone a, a little word of warning. And that is if you open up that little waffle cone at the top of your launched internet session, um, you'll see that all your apps that you have is here. Well, it sort of looks like you already got it. However, this is Project Online. FMSS has not been given access to Project Online yet. We still have the desktop client Project Online version getting loaded to our computers, so you're going to need to request it. So hopefully that doesn't confuse anybody, but it may look like you have it, but this one here that is listed is not activated yet. For FMSS. Okay. All right. Kenneth, I did put the FMSS communication page in there into the chat. So, what I'd like to do now is start from the beginning and show you how you find this class. So, from the FMSS communication site that you now all have bookmarked as a favorite, you'll notice that this is our page that shows all of our programs all security, quality assurance project management, and business solution programs. Today's class is found by going down here under project management, and on the first column, the last item, it's called territory building and project inventory. This is where you will find the link that Bob put in a picture of into our chat, okay? 
And that I'm, I'm working on listen. The only thing from that that you're gonna use, okay, it looks like this. When you click it, it's gonna open up. The only thing you're going to use for today's training from this toolkit is oh the God, building or project resources tab. Yeah, These I'm other three tabs so that are on here, Cedar Library, Upload Documents, Edit Documents, are connected yeah, yeah, to yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh We don't I'm want you using like these buttons. Like Bro, from I used to work at Google, Google and like, We're this, is like access to this is like, the mommy and daddy and telling hundreds of people point, okay? like what to do. So once Crazy. Again, 148 go ahead people are on this board right now. The building a project toolkit I just got out from your FMSS communication site She's probably on that fucking by selecting the link I you not. FMSS territory building a project inventory page. She, she once you've done that, house, please so uh, put a thumbs up in the chat. That way we know, because uh, this is a virtual yeah, training class, that way we know you're up to speed with us and we can move on. What kind of... What kind of... Robert, you see it? What kind of uh, does she want hands go up? She wants me to fucking... Beat those cheeks. Thumbs. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's giving us thumbs up. <laughs> Really? She was sitting at you? Women with only daughters are the most unhappy yep. women on this planet. Okay. Yeah, dude. Okay. True. So. You know, the, a lot of these, you know, I'm on these dating apps. So okay. I a lot of single Steven moms says, does it know how to do the thumbs up? They're always down. They're uh, always, the always unhappy. chat. <laughs> they try their best. Yes. I laugh, but there was a day I didn't know it either. Um, on the, the only uh, invite that we had to sign into to get into this class, um, you'll see that we've got chat, people, raise hand, react, view, rooms, apps, and so on and so forth. So when you want to put something in the chat, you're going to open the chat, okay? And when you do that, you'll see the chat here, and then you come down to the chat box, and you go to the little um, you can't. smiley face, <laughs> it's under the box, and that gives you various I can probably, I tell you too, I can probably get hired here if you want. And we're not picky. You, you can do thumbs up, you can do smiley faces, you can do mm -hmm. stick tongue out faces, whatever you want. <laughs> but what we Yeah, I like that one, Bob. Uh, high five. Uh, when we ask you if you're ready you to move what? on, you know this what? is what we're going to want you to you be putting in your response for us. That way we see it and it's already there. Okay? Now, we got some raised hands, and I'd like to see all the raised hands. So, Bob, can you go back out and look at that? And see yeah, we got Veronica. You have a question, Veronica? You want to come off mute? Okay, so as a way of explaining things, open chat, pick the emoji from the smiley face. Pick the emoji, that's how you do box. emojis! If you use raised hand, that means like you're sitting in the classroom and you're raising your hand because you have a question. So don't use this icon called the raised hand is, uh, because if you do, we think you have a question. Really and they don't know how to use this yeah. shit, so okay. they're like super happy that somebody's even showing how to use this. So, Greg Smith, if it, you do have a question, come off mute. If you don't, you can go up to the top this guy's toolbar really nice. and just this hit raise hand bullshit. again, and it'll take it away. Yep, that lowers your hand. What's the company? All right. All right, perfect. We're going to move on then. So, <clears throat> what three buttons on this toolkit are you not allowed to use today from this, from this site? Anybody want to take a chance? Come off mute and answer it. We got all on the left by Donna. Okay, I'll head. Upload, edit, and see your live. Go ahead. First three buttons. Yes. Thank you, Tanika. First three buttons do not use from this live library today because if you do, you're uploading documents into a live library, and that means clean up down the road. Um, so please don't do that. The only thing that you're doing today is using the building and project resources from this case. We're going to give you access to the sandbox for you to use the first three buttons and get practice, and we got all kinds of fun little experiments for you guys to do this. Okay? 
So we're all together now. I'd like to show you where you find the training stuff for today. Click the button called Use Building or Project Resources. And when you do, the page like this opens up called Building and Project Resources. Go ahead and do that now. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. For those that are thumbing up, just by going into the top and hitting the react and selecting the thumb, we're not recording that, so we don't know that you got it. Tabana just explained, just go down to the chat box, go under the icon, it's an emoji, and pick it from there, please. Okay, we got Kimberly asking a question saying, it appears my app has not been updated. My page does not look like the screen. My bears was approved. Okay, so Kimberly, if you go up to FMSS communication site, and the link for it is in the chat, so you might have to scroll back up into the chat to find it if you don't have this bookmark. Go there, and then under the project management programs, Select Territory Building a Project Inventory Page. And then you will have a page that looks like this. Hold on, let me get it. You will have a page that looks like this to open up. This is called Building a Project Toolkit. This is the toolkit that we had to design to make this whole process a lot easier and uh, come up to the what are you gonna do with the hidden camera technology level that we've been granted by getting this M365. So once you do that, then you select the little, the fourth button called Use Building or Project Resources. And when you do that, then your screen will look like this, Building and Project Resources. Does that help you out, Kimberly? Jonathan, scroll up in the message, you'll find the link for this. Elizabeth, sort site. Source site is not working, but go with Elizabeth off this message and help her get acclimated because she's completely not even in the right thing. And then, let's see, Kimberly, you got it? Perfect, thank you. All right, so I'm going to move on, okay? So we're all here, we all got the building present resources, and if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see helpful sites. And then it says training real estate project management. That's where today's PowerPoints are all listed and everything. But... Um, we do have a lesson later Patricios! on that we go over the building of project resources, so I'm not going to go over that now. But I do want everyone to find down here under helpful sites, click on training, real estate project management, and when you do, you'll find the courses that we teach from the project management office listed here. The one that you're in today is called Managing Action Plan Schedules Maps Training. Click it. And give me a thumbs up when your page looks like this. Awesome. See it's already there. Very good. Okay. So all of our training resource material is pinned to the top of this page right now because, like I said, we've been teaching this since 2021. So we have old training material out there, and I put the word archive in front of it, and I am going to get these things all archived. However, today's training is coming out of the folder that's pinned to the top, and when you do a left click on it, there's the bearer's request on how to get MS Project Online desktop client software. Here's the agenda, and then here are all the lessons to follow. We had to put the A, B, C, D on there to make them appear in chronological order, uh, to go along with the how we're teaching it, okay? So, um, I'll show you today's agenda. And any of those that you want to download to your computer because you want to refer back to it when you have a real question, feel free to do so. Just use the download button so you're not in the presentation trying to change it. And you'll notice that you're in the Managing Action Plan Schedules class. And the agenda for day one is we're spending 15 minutes doing welcome and introductions. I am two minutes old. <laughs> um, but I have the next class as well, so I can kind of make up some time. Your next class is going to be Introduction to the New E Records Age. 
And then we're going to talk about how to understand document types and find the territory and project inventory page, which I've already done that for you, so I can make up time there. Have lunch in the second half of the day. We're going to have how to upload documents and how to use the building and project resources. I told you we had that in there. And then how to use an edit and review function in the new Power Apps. And so that's where we'll be getting you into the sandbox, making sure you're using the right buttons from the sandbox. Okay, uh, Vincenzo, I'm sorry if I'm not saying your name right. Look at your screen right now. You should not be trying to download this presentation on your computer. You should be taking the class right now. Okay, uh, Jeremiah, repeat the link again. Yes, most definitely. Okay, so in the beginning, when you come into work, you probably have to sign into the FMSS communication site. And if you haven't done that already, scroll up in the message chat box and get the link that I posted there for you guys today. Bookmark it. And then once you've bookmarked it, scroll down to project management programs and under territory building and project inventory, select the link. That link opens up the toolkit, which houses the new power apps, the power BI and the library for all your records. Okay. But the only thing you're clicking, you're not going to touch the first three buttons on this app right here today. You're just going to look at the building and project resources, which is the fourth button. Please select that. And once you've selected the fourth button, it's going to open up into that one's pro oh, here it is, building and project resources. When the building and project resource page opens, scroll to the bottom and under the helpful sites, you will find the training tile. Open the training tile and then find Managing Action Plan Schedules Class. Was that enough to take you back there, Jeremiah? Okay, Matthew's got it. Jeremiah's got it. Gregory's got it. How about you, Vincenzo? Do you have the, the training page open yet? Okay. So what I was trying to say is go in, you know, go ahead and open the Managing Action Plan Schedule training page, which lists all of our training classes that we have PowerPoint on. Looks like this. Don't spend time right now trying to download these, please. Please listen and pay attention because we're going to talk about all these things. Okay, that's what this class is about. That's why you have a live instructor. Because if we wanted you to just go out here and download them, read them on your own, then that's what we would have done. We'd have posted and said, hey, download these and read them on your own. But today you got live instructors, so please take advantage of us because we're going to share knowledge with you. Okay, Tierra. We have security personnel on the call so that they can learn the new page to learn how to upload documents. They should not have to request Microsoft projects as they currently do not use action plans. Correct? No, incorrect. Security is creating a security action plan. And they will eventually be having a real action plan for security type projects. And that is kind of a good point. I want, uh, I want to clarify, Tara. Um, you know, in FMSS, we have real estate projects that are like acquisition, alt, realign, and furniture. We also have security projects. Okay. If you're a security specialist on a real estate project team, you're fulfilling a role of security specialist for that other type of project, whether it's acquisition, alt, realign, furniture. But if you have a security only project, like a perimeter fencing, or creating EPACs for some place that don't have it, then that could strictly be a security project. So when we say you guys are going to use a security action plan, that's just for security type projects only. Otherwise, you're going to be using the action plan that the project manager uploads. You know, that so all your tasks are already outlined in that action plan. So we go, we have a great big lesson on that, and we'll go over that. So, um, this is all the stuff we're going to talk about today. Then we also have day two and we have day three. 
So for full credit, please try to attend all of them. Um, I'm going to go back in now and open up the first lesson called Introduction to New E-Records. Give me a moment. So you notice to open up one of these, I go to the... the okay, it's not opening. I guess everybody's opening up. Um, you, you'll notice if you wanted to just look at something online, not download it, you can go over and just open it. And when you do, open it in the app, not the browser. If you open stuff in browser, you, you lose functionality. So if you really wanted to be able to save it to your computer or anything like that, you could open it in app and then do file save as, or you could come down here and just download it like normal. But so let me open this up. So I can get us going with this new e records age. It's opening slowly but surely. Any questions, Bob, while we're getting this open? Seems like everyone's struggling um, early. I do not have it or see it from Vincenzo. You What's lost he a few buttons, and by the time you open something else, I'm behind. So I think we just need to slow down a little bit. That's all. So, and Crystal, security action plans are being worked with security headquarters. Um, I'm not involved in that, so I don't know how long it's going to be before they come out. But I wouldn't think it's going to take that long. Okay, uh, well, Matthew, okay. Vincenzo, I'm not seeing the same thing as you uh, are. So, um, you're kind of, uh, you're kind of socialist, right? So, you're okay. Kind of okay. Vincenzo okay. found it. Yeah. Tina, Socialism. go slower, please. Uh, I'm on the same place you showed us go to, but I don't see the same things as you are. Matthew still lost. Okay, Matthew, please come off mute. Okay, I am at the FMSS training site where you went to. Is that hit managing yep. action plan schedules? Is that where you want us to go? Yeah, you want to go into the... To okay, the I went to that, and then it opens a total different page than what you were opening on yours. I can't even find what you're at. That I don't know what I'm supposed to open there because you were going so fast. You've lost half the group. And this is, this is really going way too fast for everybody because your computer is running faster than everybody else trying to keep up. Uh, and, and that's where I think all the questions are coming from. Uh, we, we can't get it all loaded right away. Yeah. Can you please share your screen, Matthew? We're going to walk through it. You now have presenting rights, so just do screen share, please. This is where I got stuck at, right here. Okay. All righty. Scroll to the top of the page, please. I'm okay. there. There you go. See that folder that has a number 22 on it? It says building a project page 2.0. That's it. Yep. Click on the folder. All right. Okay. Now you have what I was looking at. Uh, what were, do we need to go into this or do we need to be in part of this? Uh, if you need to get the bears request instructions of how to input a bears request to get in this project, okay. you're going to want to download that when time allows you to. If you want to download any of these PowerPoints so that you got it on your computer to research later on, you can do that later on, but please don't take class time to do it right now. Okay. Do we need if, to, do we need to be in here right now during the class? Do we? That's where we lost, I think, everyone where we're at is because we went to this and everybody's trying to find this, but where we okay. need to be at is where we need okay. to be at. Okay, understanding. Okay, yeah, no, this was just a walkthrough of how to find this training site for your references later on when you really need it. Right now, today, you can just follow along on your screen, and if something is necessary for you to to open up, we'll let you know, and we'll so give you time to do that. No. And yes, you're on the correct sandbox team site. Better. That's perfect. So, yep, perfect. Single. You're David in the right David place. You got everything where you need to be. Okay, I mean, anybody else before we move on? Because there were several people that says you're moving too fast. Somebody's wanting you to archive and all this, that, and the other. Please, um, each of you that have indicated too fast or you're not in the same place, um, can you come off mute and let me know?
Chen Chen, can you please come off mute? Uh, Ma'am, I'm in the meeting. Uh, I have the, uh, the PowerPoint, uh, the Power Project Action Plate te template. And the, uh, Is this real? Uh, yeah, really yeah. Where you want this to, guy, this guy's a uh, Navy right veteran. Just on the PowerPoint. Uh, if you feel that you need the PowerPoint open, yes, you can open it to follow along on the other screen. But if it's too confusing, yeah, Diego, you don't this is open honestly these why you should work. Uh, you should get a new just job. Just follow right along on your screen. Because listen, this is my job right now. Like, I just really wanted to make sure you all have to find the SSS training site that has all the PowerPoints here listed. Uh huh. Okay, because I'm going to be talking about new re new e records page in a moment, but I want to make sure that you're able to the thing is if i get you a job probably probably better than my job and like, follow along like you work in the donut as well any yeah. questions about that or you, you uh, still need a little bit jonathan uh no i i'm sorry uh, so so we're in the, the, the top the archive building and project no, please don't use anything with the word archive on it. Um, what we were saying is that we've taught this class since 2021. And so anything that was outdated, we've now archived it. And just to keep people from going in there, we put the word archive in front of it. Go to the top of the page and you'll see a folder. That says Project page 2.0. That's where lesson schools all come from. All right, I got it, ma'am. Yeah. All right, thank you. Okay. Uh -huh, you're welcome. Chen, you please unmute. Um, I don't have any question now. Yeah, it's just uh, uh, I appreciate that Matt mentioned some concerning. I have exactly concerning what uh, he has this, and you answer. This questions. woman's thank name. You. Okay. Well, I can't. You. I can't dox you, but. Um, Matthew, are you okay now? I'm on the sandbox uh, team site, so if we didn't need to go into that breakdown of where everything was at, that that maybe shouldn't have been brought up at first and been put at the end. It's like a clubhouse. If anyone need to refer back to it, so that's what everybody was trying to go to when you were moving 50 steps ahead of all of us trying to show us that we don't even need Welcome to the insane asylum! That, 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 might, uh, that might help everybody keep up, because if we only need to be at that sandbox site, Let's just work from there. Start there, as long okay, as everybody yeah. can get to that. Yep. Okay. Great. Robert, do you have any other questions? Says I don't have the same list. Is that Monica? That's Monica. Come on, Monica. Monica hates me. I told her. I told her block me and please? just you know, I was like, good luck. Yes. Hi. Um. No, I just got thrown off because I didn't know if we had to be on the site only or here on Teams. Um, okay. So, just saying you correctly, we can just follow you on Teams. And yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yep, yep. Okay. This is um, this is called a job, everybody. Everybody! Everybody's back on. Saliva! Very good. All right, so we're going to get moving back. Watch the chat. If we get anybody else that... Gets thrown off. Let me know. Yeah. Oh my god. <clears throat> I okay, would so say out of the hundred and twenty people in this meeting so right now, if you totaled up the salary, modify, um, you you're talking like ten million a month to pay all these people to like sit you know, here and do this right now. Ten million a fucking month. If you're, not running, Congress, if you're not running for Congress, if you're not running for Congress, external stakeholders, and so on. Once you have your documents digitized, we have the permissions set so that only certain persons can see the building project library or records to perform the functions they need to, to either modify a document, research a document, or concur with whatever iteration of a document you might be on. And so what that means is that our, go ahead. Are you presenting? Because I can't see anything on the screen. Oh, I think you stopped me. Yeah, because I think you, um, other people join the screens and then you, you don't have your PowerPoint up. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. No problem.